Welcome to Cliff Chilsing Fishing. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about co-angler tips, so please stay tuned. to Cliff Chilson Fishing. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about some co-angler tips. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what a co-angler is in bass fishing world, is somebody who actually fishes from the back of the boat in a bass tournament. Um, there's many different platforms that you can actually start out bass fishing as a co-angler. Um, there, there's like uh, the Bass Open Series, the Phoenix Bass, BFLs, um, the Bassmaster Opens, there's also local club tournaments and stuff like that. You can also fish as a co-angler. Uh, some of these are like uh, the Open Series of Phoenix BFLs, the Opens, and of course you can join a bass club. So basically um, the, the tips you want to do, um, number one is do your homework before you even leave your house. Uh, but what I mean by that is your homework you need to do is Google Earth. Find information about every single piece of that body of water um, before you even leave your house. Study the fishing reports. Ask friends who may have fished there. Uh, talk to local guys. Go to local tackle stores. Um, talk, uh, talk to the local people at the grocery store. You know. You never know who you might run into. Uh, tip number two. Do your homework, like I said. You're going to practice if possible. Uh, there's nothing more valuable bass fishing and is practicing. Uh, spend your time on a body of water that you're actually trying to fish the tournament in. Uh, as a co-angler, you don't want to fish uh, particular spots. Actually, let me rewind that. Sorry about that. You don't want to concentrate on particular spots. You want to concentrate on more of different types of techniques, colors, uh, transitions, whether the fish are biting better on wood, rock, um, weeds, stuff like that. Um, if you're going to focus on what depths are best. Um, what else? You're going to also, I don't know. Next one is you're going to also want a game plan with your motor. Um, what I mean by that is you want to get a hold of them, talk to them about where they're going to be fishing, um, what types of stuff there is, what their actual plan is going to be, what part of the body of water you're going to be fishing, uh, whether it's north, south, you know, and what kind of stuff they're actually going to be fishing, whether it's going to be grass, rock, stuff like that. So you can actually prepare yourself um, and prepare your gear, which is our next tip. Sorry, I'm just starting using this program, so prepare your gear. Uh, by what I mean by that, narrow your stuff um, that you're going to bring with you down to about four or five rods. Uh, the reason why I say that is because it takes a lot less time to actually retie a pole than to sit there and try to untangle probably eight or ten different rods from sitting in the side of the boat. Um, it takes probably 15, 20 seconds to retie something to where it could take you minutes to, to, to get an actual rod out from the bass boat. 
Um, next thing you're going to want to do is bring enough food and water for the day. 99% um, of the bass boats out there now have phenomenal coolers in them. So bring enough food and water, stay hydrated. Uh, what else? See here. And number one thing is you're going to want to bring only certain tackle. Limit your tackle as well. Bring only stuff that you're actually confident in at catching a fish. Uh, from my experience, when I first started fishing as a co-angler with the BFLs, uh, my first boater um, laughed at me. Well, he didn't really laugh, but I had this big, giant boat bag from Bass Pro. It held like 30, 370 boxes in it. Had to have been three and a half, four feet long. Um, but, you know, just starting out, I had no idea what I was doing. So I just figured that I needed every single thing that I owned uh, with me. So over the years, I have dumbed it down to just bring in a smaller bag or a backpack um, full of the tackle. Uh, and definitely only bring the stuff that you're confident in. Uh, it's just a waste of space if you bring something that you're not confident in. Um, let's see. Next tip is definitely don't wait for your motor to call for the net. Uh, you're going to gain friendships and everything like that. And the better net man you are, the more the boaters are going to want you to fish with them. And it's just going to enhance your experience um, from there. Uh, to go back to to prepare your gear, sorry about that. Bring your rain gear. Um, definitely bring your rain gear. Don't forget a P at AF either. Uh, most of your organizations require a co-anglers to be wearing a PDF at all times that the big boat motor is running. And last but not least, last but not least, again, uh, remember the golden rule. Be polite, be courteous to the boater and all his equipment. You don't, as a co or just starting out, you do not realize how much money, time, and preparation it goes to fish as a boater in some of these tournaments. Uh, me personally, last year was my first year as a boater. I was fortunate enough to be able to get a bass boat and, and jump up to the next level. Um, I can tell you, me personally, I spend at least a week practicing, driving around, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, just trying to practice and on fuel, different types of baits that I need, stuff that I run out, all that stuff. That's not including like boat insurance, the actual boat payment. So just be in mind how much money and how much time. Treat their boat as if it was yours. Uh, so keep it clean. Uh, ask if you're going to smoke if you're a smoker. Um, don't leave muddy footprints, trash in the cooler, um, stuff like that. And go over what type of standards that your boater expects on his boat. Uh, another tip I can do is as a in a tournament with a boater and co-angler situation, the rule of thumb is there's an imaginary line at the consoles of the boat. So the co-angler is not actually supposed to fish uh, or cast in front of the boater. Uh, me, personally, as a boater, I don't care where you cast. Um, as long as you're not tangling up my line and stuff like that, I will personally give you enough opportunities to catch your own fish um, and always remember to have fun on the water please stay tuned I know this video is absolutely horrible they will get better I promise you that um, so please stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel um, like me on facebook all that stuff I am starting a new twitch channel um, for fishing tips, all that stuff too. So if you're a you, Amazon Prime subscriber,
please join Twitch, download the app, watch the videos, um, and subscribe to my channel. Again, until next time.